Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 26th of 2020, well, it is titled Reflections of the Ghost Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an area, a number of nebulae, a very dusty area within the region of the constellation of Cepheus. And Cepheus is located in the plane of the Milky Way galaxy, meaning we see a lot more of things like star clusters and gas and dust than we see when we look away from the central portions in the plane of the galaxy. And here we have towards the bottom what is known as the ghost nebula, the brighter area down there. And this is an example of a reflection nebula where light is being reflected off of dust. So the dusty areas scattered through here are dust material within our galaxy. And dust is usually a sign, especially when it's being illuminated, of star formation. So some of the dark, denser knots are areas where stars are forming and they are hidden from us by the dust. Optical telescopes cannot penetrate through dust and allow us to see what's going on inside these. So until recently, in the last few decades, we have been unable to penetrate through and to look at this dust very well and see what's going on. And it wasn't until the advent of infrared telescopes. Infrared looks at longer wavelengths than visible light and longer wavelengths are better able to penetrate through things like dust. So if we look at an image in the infrared that allows us to look through the dust and to see the stars that are forming down towards the center. And that has opened up as a better way to be able to study the stages of star formation by looking at these very earliest stages and getting a better idea of what the processes are involved in the formation of stars. And when we look towards the center of our galaxy, uh, or sorry, towards the plane of our galaxy in regions such as this, it gives us a way to be able to study those as we see far more of these when we look at regions like this or the Orion star forming region, where we also see a lot of reflection nebulae from uh, ga dust reflecting starlight from young stars that have formed, and even some of those new stars that are just beginning to form still within those dark dusty knots. So we get to see some of that in the ghost nebula here today. So that was our picture of the day for October the 26th of 2020. It was titled Reflections of the Ghost Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Venusian Volcano. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.